right, so apparently uh, Rick Glazer is kind of putting another rumor out there that, uh, you know, um, that uh, PBC can po- an investor in PBC can possibly be, uh, you know, possibly could be Turkey Al Sheik. So he putting that out there um, um, that, you know, the private investor could be Turkey Al Sheik. So, um, um, and it's just a rumor. It could be a guesstimation or whatever. Um, but uh, let me pull it up. Here we go. Say lots of rumors and speculation in regard to PVC floating around, but in truth, for the damage that Al Heyman has done to the business and the sport of boxing, boxing and, and PBC unequivocally deserve to go out of business. Whether or not is it or not his excellence, since he Turkey Al Sheik ultimately attempts to save PBC, is really going to be te- just temporary because they don't have a business plan that is profitable. Have aging fighters that don't have the executives in place to succeed. Those executives don't have empathy for boxing. The damage has been done. Fresh money will not clean up the problem. It's just procrastination and eventual door closing. Uh, best regards to all involved in tempting to save a dead dinosaur. Now, my thing is this. Um, uh, unless, unless you're buying it to make fights with other companies, it ain't even that many fights you want to see with other companies outside of Tank and 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 uh, what's the kid's name? David Benavidez. Ain't nothing else left over there. Uh. Uh-uh. Ain't nothing less left over there. So they can go over there and they can invest money into that company and that's fine. But when you start talking about what's left, nothing. Nothing is left. And I'm just and I'm just keeping it real. Ain't nothing left over there. Prospects been knocked off. You know, prospects ain't been grown the right way. So the one, the few they got left, they they waiting to probably get knocked out. They ready to get knocked off or lose. So, like I said before, it, it don't really have nothing left. You trying to save something who don't have who fumbled uh, who fumbled a good roster. And if Turkey Al Sheik wants to invest, I think it got it would have a lot to do with making fights with other companies. If not, it's, it's you hustling backwards, you throwing money away. You better off doing raffling that money to the top 10 or 15, 20 boxing fans. You you got a better chance of getting a return from one of them, a thank you return from one of them, and money before you do with PBC. You know, it's literally an aging business model. You know, come on. That's exactly what it is. They literally don't have nothing less. Leo, mid thirties. Gary, mid thirties. Charlo, Charlo twins knocked off. Come on. Let's keep it real. They have they have nothing else over there, you know. In the end, it ain't like he can make the Canelo fight because if you make the Canelo fight with Benavidez, if he turned down allegedly a hundred million dollars to fight uh, you know, to Bud, you know, he won't want the whole two hundred some million dollars whatever he asked for for David Benavidez. So unless you try to make Benavidez and Bevel. And better be a winner. I mean, that really don't make no sense to do all that to make that fight. That fight ain't really profitable in the United States or on Rye High. That's the crazy shit about it. So that's what I'm, you know, you know, him being an investor to say the company, my thing is this. Uh, that would mean that they will continue to carry on the legacy over at uh, Premier Boxing Champions. I mean, that Prime Prime Video, because Al Heyman is putting the money up on Prime Video. For those who don't know, so.
So, you know, at the end of the day, man, um, you know, whoever it may be, it's, it must be square business. It must be, um, you know, it must be something, you know, something concrete. But, you know, if Eric, you know, if he took Waddle, allegedly took Waddle and Reed money and didn't do shit with it, what you think he going to do to you? You know, the zone wanted to have some, you know, pieces of PBC. But at the end of the day, with PBC, they didn't want to give up control. He didn't want to give up matchmaking control. And I'm just trying to think, man, like, who do we have? It's over with. They, they model was, you know, a whole bunch of bullshit fights. Tell me when I'm wrong. A whole bunch of bullshit fights until they get to the big fight. And every last one of their fighters under the PBC banner that got to the big fight, right? Every last one of them that got to the big fight, guess what they did? They fucking lost. They did all that build, 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 build it solid as a rock. Doom, doom. And I went, come on, man. They built all these fighters up with trash fights. They didn't groom them the right way. They, that's just what you talk about with the fucked up business model. They didn't groom them the right way. Okay? They did not groom them the right way. Okay? Um. Yeah, they did not groom these brothers, the brothers the right way. And when they got to the when they got to adversity, when they got to the big top fight. When they got to top shawty top shawty fight, guess what they did? They lost. They fucking lost. Nobody ever cashed in in the big fight. Well, you know, Tank B. Ryan it ain't no fucking big fight. This nigga had Ryan tied down to a chair and just beating his ass. He need to get his ass beat again. B sample, they ho. Yeah, ho. Come on. You know. But whoever the investor is, hey man, credit to them. But like he says, you know, you can't say this train from disaster. It's a highway trip to hell. That's what it is. I don't want to be saved. Nope. Don't save her. That's PBC. But it's whatever. You know? It's whatever. But I just feel, in my humble opinion, that, uh, um that it, it it's time to let them uh it's time to let it go it's time to let it go you know it's time to let it go you know um you know it's time to let it go you know, for Al Heyman, you know, he had a he had a great idea that he stole from somebody allegedly. I'm not gonna say who he stole it from. You know, I'm not, but uh, he had a great idea, and then he just, you know, he did with people who who he did who people who fuck up or people just can't, you know, fly straight do fuck it up. That's what he did. That's what he did. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes, man, it's just to the point where a nigga fuck up a good thing. I've been there before. Like, damn, I had a good thing. I fucked it up. But he did. Trying to protect, trying to protect, um, 
your fighters too much. You know, so like I continue to say, if Turkey Alashik is the man that's with the plan that's gonna save him, hey, shout out to Turkey. Shout out to Turkey. But like I agree with Rick, it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. Say what you want to do. It's not sustainable. The model that he's going on. And then even if he want to change the model, he let top rank and mushroom take all the prospects. So thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, uh, Amazon Music, Kick, Twitch. Shout out to everybody supporting the channel. Check out the Patreon. Appreciate y'all dropping some heat on there. Peace.